Warriors. Welcome to another edition of After Hours. On Sunday, we were looking at the second of the root vices, which is envy. And we saw two parts to envy. First, how it's a dissatisfaction with the gifts we have been given, the callings we've been given by God. And secondly, how that leads then to a resentment of other people who have those gifts and callings. And we very often with envy tend to focus on the second aspect. Envy is my feeling towards another person. But I wanna delve more briefly into the nature of envy as a disordered love, that root issue of how we are interacting with God and whether we are satisfied with who we are in Christ and what God has given us, and especially if we are focusing on God himself or if we're mo more focused on the gift that he is giving. Are we focused on the giver or are we focused on the gift? Now, envy is about us desiring God's gifts. And it's important to see that sometimes we think of sin as being a way that we are wanting something we should not have, something that somehow in and of itself is evil and wrong and bad. But that's actually often not the case. Very often, and particularly with these seven root vices, the things we are wanting, whether later on when we're looking at possessions or food or sex, or when we are looking even at envying the gifts of God, these things are actually good things. They're things that are God's good gifts to us as his people. The problem, however, is our love becomes disordered when it begins to seek that thing inordinately. We're wanting it more than we ought to want it. And in fact, we are really turning and desiring the gift more than the giver. And so envy is not really about desiring the wrong thing. It's right for us to want to desire the things that God is giving us, to, to desire the gifts and callings that God has for us. The problem becomes when we turn our gaze from God the giver to the gift and we been, begin desiring that gift more than the giver. Our ultimate desire has to be for God himself, not any other thing, not any secondary thing that he would give us or who we would be, but rather God himself. In Psalm 73, it's a great psalm about envy. Uh, we'll be looking at it later on this week in our devotions. And as you read through that psalm, the psalmist is envious in this case of the wicked and the things they have and their lot in life that God has given to them. But near the end of the psalm, there's a big turn as he understands. And by Psalm 73 and verses 25 and 26, the psalmist exclaims, Who have I in heaven but you? And being with you, there is nothing I desire on earth. There's nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. The psalmist has come to the place of seeing, I need not be envious because what I have is God himself. And if I have God, I really don't have to have anything else. There's a great hymn that expresses the same thing. It's called The Sands of Time Are Sinking. And there's a lot of verses, and you can look it up online. I encourage you to look it up and listen to it. Uh, there's a lot of great versions of this song out there, but one of the last stanzas in the song says this, uh, the bride eyes not her garment, but her dear bridegroom's face. I will not gaze at glory, but on my king of grace, not at the crown he giveth, but on his pierced hand. The lamb is all the glory of Emmanuel's land. This song is speaking of when Time is drawing near on our own death or even at the end of time in the world. And the point is when we get up to Emmanuel's land, when we are there in heaven, we will not be focused on the crowns we've been given or the jewels or the rewards or the prize. There, when we are purified and our desires are as they ought to be, all we will care about is the smiling face of our Savior. All we will ultimately desire is Jesus himself. And so envy is is in its essence desiring the gifts, desiring the thing God would give us more than God himself. And whenever we do that, we will find ourselves in trouble. Ultimately, these root vices trace back to a heart that is trying to replace God with something else. And it's the root issue. If we desire something, anything more than God himself, it ultimately deforms our soul, it saps our joy, 
it reduces our hunger for God because every time we come to God, we find ourselves being distracted looking for something else. So I want to encourage you this week to meditate on who you are in Christ and to give gratitude for the things he's given you, but never let any of that distract your gaze from him. Our gaze ultimately is to be on Jesus himself. He is more glorious, more beautiful, more to be desired than anything this earth has to offer or even any gift that we see in his hand. Let's put our focus on him because if you have found Christ, if I have found Christ, we have everything. I hope you have a great week. And I remind everyone we will not be having our gathering this Saturday or our evening of Food, Fun, and Fellowship. It's been moved to St. Patrick's Day on March the 17th. But I look forward to gathering with folks in small group and then again next Sunday as we worship our great God.